we should always read the fine print, no matter how complicated it is. But sometimes we don't do that. However, one woman who was trying to replenish her Easy Pass account was asked to sign off on the fine print, and she thought she saw something about establishing time limits to complain about those charges on her account. So what's the deal here? And your science Andy Fox got some answers and a lot of clarification on that fine print confusion. Andy? Tom and Nicole, everyone needs to listen to this. The line she was concerned about has actually been in the agreement since 2005, according to VDOT. She just happened to find the line during this read through. Christina Lynette does not trust Easy Pass, ERC, or VDOT. Just doesn't. You can't remember if you drove on a certain day six months ago. You can't remember that. So they could put the charge up there. You're not going to know. You're just going to pay it. Lynette is concerned about that six months because she could not get into her Easy Pass account to replenish the account with more money until she clicked, yes, I have read the Easy Pass customer agreement and accept the terms and conditions. She cannot agree with line J. You agree not to dispute Easy Pass charges that are more than six months old. That's crazy. Why does it take you six months to determine that we owe you something? No other company out here or any other business waits six months to do anything regarding their money. We contacted Shannon Marshall at VDOT, who claims Line J has actually been in the agreement since at least 2005. We would not um, process Easy Pass transactions more than 60 business days old. But what I would reiterate to this customer is if they look at their account months later, and they question something. Marshall says everyone will need to read the updated customer agreement due to Easy Pass changes in Northern Virginia, not because Secretary of Transportation Aubrey Lane's demand that ERC fix what's wrong with its tolling operation by October 1st. I always encourage customers to monitor their accounts because mistakes happen, you know. That's why they need to keep a close eye on their account and contact us if, if anything is questionable. And I'm pleased to report that following our 5 p.m. story on this, I contacted Christina Lynette, who says she now feels okay clicking that she's read the agreement. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.